Okay, in this video we're going to talk about the methods available in the string class, in particular the methods that are in the Java subset. Because the Java subset for AP Computer Science A, these are the methods that you could see on the exam and the method you're expected to know. All right, so the first isn't a, really a method, it's a constructor, string. And since last video we already talked about this, but we'll show just a couple examples like string x equals new string. That creates an empty string. String x Actually, let's say string y equals new string hello or string z equals new string y. Three different ways you use the string constructor. This creates an empty string. This creates a string that's hello. This creates a different string that's hello. It's got the same value as y, but it's a different string pointing to a different area in memory. So now let's talk about the uh, the length method. So if we if we say string x equals Hello, Dave. String y equals new string. String z equals new string Bob. Right? Well, we say int a equals x dot length. Sorry, it's a method, so x dot length. A will have a length of one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right? Including the space, there's ten characters there. So x will have a length of ten. If we say a equals y dot length, we'll set a to zero because y doesn't have any, any character, so it's an empty string. And if we say a equals z dot length, a will have one, two, three. There's three characters, so it will have the value three. And that's how the length method works. All right, so let's go with substring now. Well, I'm gonna do away with all of this except for x. And the first substring method we're gonna talk about is this one. Substring from an index to an index. So when we say String A equals X dot substring. One comma five. And then system dot out dot print line. A, what's getting printed out? Well, we're going to put the indices here, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There's 10 characters numbered from 0 to 9. All right, and you know what? I think I'm going to do a little bit better job of this just to make it more clear. I'm going to spread out the hello. So we're going to say string x equals 
H E L L O space D A V E. Just to make it easier to, to read this. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So X is a substring from one to five, but it's really, if you notice here, it's from one to the uh, index of two, this variable two minus one. So if we're going from five, it's it's character z from one to five, it's characters one, two, three, and four. So characters one, two, three, and four would be E L L O. So this would print E L L O. All right. So let's say we change this now. One comma nine. Well, in that case, it's going to print from one up to one less than nine. So it's going to print from one to eight. So it'll print E L L O space D. A V and let's say we print from four to eight. Let me just rewrite those from four to eight. Then it's going to print O space D A because it won't print character eight. So this is what gets printed, is that string, O space DA. So that's the substring method that does two and four, from and to, it takes two parameters. Then there's a substring method here, just says from, right? And that's from and then to the length but that's length minus one, so it's from that point to the end. So if we do substring six, we just give it one parameter and then we say system.out.println a. It's gonna go from six to the end of the to the end of the string, so six, seven, eight, nine, so it'll print D A V E. If we do substring three, it's gonna go from three to the end, so you will get L O space D A V E. So those are the two ways to do substring. Index of. So let's look at the index of method. So we're gonna say, whoa, let's put that code in black. So I equals x dot index of E. Well, in that case, it's going to find the index of the first occurrence of that. So the first E is at position 1, so this is going to print out 1. Now, if we print out, if we say index of DA, it's going to give us the index where the first occurrence of the string DA in that bigger string, well that would be, there's a DA in that order starting at position 6, so this will print out 6. What happens if we ask it to print out EV, or index of EV? Well, it turns out there's no EV. We have VE, but there's no EV in this string. 
So in that case, it'll print out negative one, because it prints out negative one if that's not found. Equals, we have already seen how equals equals doesn't behave the way you'd think. Right? If you remember, we said string x equals Jalen Java. And string y equals new string x. And if we said if x equals equals y, It's not out top print line equal. That won't print equal because x is pointing at x and y are pointing at different locations in memory. So equals equals is looking at the bits at x and the bits at y, which are both addresses, and they're not the same address, so they're not equal. But if I change this to say x dot equals y. If that's true, then this is going to print equals. Or print equal. because the dot equals method checks to see if the two strings have equal value. Notice, if I do this, Jalen Java with lower, all lowercase, the dot equals method is not gonna return true because those aren't the same string, they're different. Now we have one more method. So in Java, the math class is a class that doesn't have any objects. Sorry about that. Another video popping on in the background. The, uh, so we have one more method, the compare to method. And compare to, is a way to compare alphanumeric or it's really it's not really alphabetical although if you're just with letters it's kind of alphabetical but uh alphanumeric order so if we have string j equals alpha or sorry string yeah let's use the string let's let's go with string j equals alpha string k equals alpha, the capital A, and string M equals Zulu, capital Z, we can use compare to to see what order these strings would be in if you're putting them in alphanumeric order. And the compare to method will return negative one, or sorry, well, a negative value if, if this is less than other, zero if they're equal, and a positive value if this is greater than other. So what that means is if we say, if j dot compared to k greater than zero, we'll 
we'll say comes after else if j dot I want to make this so I don't have to rewrite. Hang with me just a second here. No, we'll do this. I'm going to pull this one down a little bit. We're going to say string A equals J. String B equals K. Then A dot compared to B, and we'll do A dot compared to B is less than zero. We'll do system dot out dot print line A comes before B. And I could put in I uh, might as well do it. Else. Equal. Now, none of those are the same strings, so we won't get equal for any of these, right? Put B there and A there. That'll save me from having to do a lot of rewriting. Um, so if A is equal to J, so A is alpha lowercase, B is alpha uppercase, what do we think? What's the order, gonna, what's gonna happen here? Well, it turns out it's gonna say A comes after B because alpha with a capital A comes before alpha with a lowercase a. Otherwise, they're the same, but those it goes letter by letter, starting with the first letter, the way you would for alphabetical order. So, J is after K. Now, if I do this and I change this to M, well, now we have lowercase a, alpha, and uppercase Z, Zulu. It turns out, that J comes after M as well. All of the capital letters come before all of the lowercase letters in alphanumeric order. And if we change this to K here, then we get just what we expect. K is before M. Because when it's a capital letter start and then all lowercase, A comes before Z, so K before M. So compared to isn't alphabetical order. It's alphanumeric order. There is actually a compared to ignore case method in strings, which allows you to compare... And if they're letters, it doesn't care whether they're uppercase or lowercase, they're treated the same. But the basic compare to method treats them differently and all of the all of the capital letters come before all the lowercase letters.